guys. So I had uh, great intentions to come home and go outside and do my videos for the um, ritual series and setting up your Mabin altar. And I got home and my husband is doing the lawn in the front yard, which is where I'm set up. <laughs> So, I cannot, uh, you won't be able to hear. And now you're going to hear the annoying dogs too. Love it. <laughs> so, uh, I decided to do a video that I have been holding off on because I've been trying to get some of the other ones done. Um, which is, I figured I'd do a walkthrough of the Spirit Within Tarot. Now, this tarot deck has been out for a while and everyone loved it and I really was kind of on the fence about it and something happened. I saw another walkthrough or something that finally made me go over the edge and I'm really glad that I finally got it. Um, the silhouettes are really speaking to me. So I don't know if I will use it until after Samhain probably because I think it'll be really good for shadow work and I'm not ready to quite yet to dive into shadow work all the way until after sewing. Um, a little bit before maybe, but I, I really dive in afterwards. So uh, this deck is by Stephen Bright. It comes, and for some reason, I don't know if it's me, I just remembered it differently. I thought this was a much bigger deck, and it's pretty, you know, standard tarot size, I think. Um which surprised me. I don't know why I thought it was a bigger deck. Um, it is done by Red Feather. Uh, and it says, Tradition and contemporary art meet within the stylish tarot set, bringing simplicity to your personal story. The spirits within the shadows of your life are dancing through this symbolic collection of 78 mesmerizing tarot cards, Find characters from your past, present, and future, offering reflections of your childhood or glimpses of a potential future. The card's silhouettes transcend age, gender, and eth ethnicity as the figures effort effortlessly, apparently I can't speak today, sorry, uh, morph into friends or enemies, family and colleagues, or even the most intimate aspects of yourself. They provide a mirror for your intuition and act as a light to follow. Each of the 78 voices are described within the accompanying handbook, along with keywords and meanings, a roadmap for the seeker. The symbols set in a world we can all identify with are easy to interpret and recognized as traditional. This long-awaited deck is your traveling companion, whether a beginner or a seasoned reader, for the journey ahead. And I will say that... The box is great. It would be a really good box to um, travel with too because um, it flips open and it's a hard box and it's got, you know, a little bit about the author in the front here. So, hold on, let me see if Peter needs me. Nope, he went back outside. Okay. Um, so here's the little booklet. I like that the booklet fits right into the box. That's great. It has 96 pages, and it's got a preface, and then it goes right into the Major Arcana. So nice. Gives you um, a, I like too, I did look through this, and I like the, in the very beginning here, of each card in the purple there's like a little saying that the card would be talking about so the fool says i am the one without fear unafraid of taking a leap of faith some call me naive since planning isn't part of my makeup but others find my approach to life refreshing since they enjoy my unpredictability so i like that it's talking from the card's voice that's really nice. And then it has um, about the card and then keywords on the very bottom. So I think that's great. And each of the cards gets pretty much the same amount of uh, history and explanation to them. So 
that's great. Let's see if it must have spreads and stuff towards the back. If it has spreads. And maybe not. Oh, it has one spread. The Spirit Cross spread. So the cards themselves um, are really glossy. And I'm finding that I like matte a little bit better now. Just um, because... For one thing, they photograph a lot better. They're easier to show, uh, you know, to the camera. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's a personal thing. Um, but these don't seem too bad. They're not sticky, which is good. The backs are gorgeous. I love the circle idea. Um, if you've done any sacred feminine work, um, it's all about the circle lately so it's really nice because there's an outside circle and then an inside circle and then I believe yep inside that is another circle of people so it's like the never-ending circle of life it's great so again the silhouettes are really um, sticking with me they're gorgeous um, they you know like the introduction part said it makes it so it's an inclusive deck because they could be anyone. That could be a male or a female. That could be any race. That could be any, uh, you know, could be anyone. And so it's it's very inclusive that way because it doesn't differentiate. Everyone can look at it and see themselves or their parents or their, you know, spiritual guides. So I really am impressed. And again, the um, the size of the cards, I have real big hands. So the size of the cards are much smaller than I was thinking they were. I don't know why I thought they were like real big, like next world tarot big. Not even close. It's just pretty much, it's, um. well, let's see. I know I have, oh, come on, Jen. It's funny. I put most of my uh, Rider weight decks are back there so I can't really reach them <laughs> but this is my saw and deck of the bastards which is pretty much like a an average tarot card so you can see it's a little bit shorter and a little bit wider but you know very similar to regular tarot size so that's great I like that they're a little bit smaller they're easier to handle all right, so there's the Empress, and I like that there's animals. She has her doggies around, around her, included in the in the Empress there. The Emperor. I love that they're borderless. Simon did a whole video today about his top five um, deck mod decks, and I have to say my Mariel is right here someplace. Yep, right there. And I have to get it out. I, I'm ready to do my Marielle. I think I need to trim it. Here's the lovers. Beautiful. The chariot. And I knew, know I've needed to do my guy in tarot. I want to snip, snip, snip. And what did he show today that I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, there's, he, of course, Simon, the enabler. He put two tarot here strength. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that strength card. Oh, I love that. Um, put two tarot decks on my very soon wish list, which is the Japarizzi deck I need to get. I'm going to try to check my local shops to see if they still have any left because I believe that they are kind of out of print. They are, are not printing anymore from what I heard. So the decks that people do have all of a sudden shot way up there like 50 bucks. <laughs> But I know my local shop does not do that. Great hermit card. So I'm not going to go through all of these because there's lots and lots and lots and lots of walkthroughs. But I will, oh, there's my justice card. My Libra heart loves it. I will go through the majors and then I'll just show a couple of the minors. Hanged man. Oh, great death card. So uh, I need to cleanse these and get them ready. I know, I what did I just say? 
that I probably wasn't going to use them until after Samhain. Now I'm like, oh, I need to get these cleansed so I can get them out there. <laughs> I need to start working with them. Temperance. Now that is a cool temperance card. Very up to date, but great with the two different colored records there. Ooh, great devil. Look at that. It's a great one. The tower. Beautiful. I think I hear my husband downstairs, so maybe he is done with the lawn, and maybe I can get outside before it gets dark. <laughs> if not, I will uh, do what I was planning on doing tonight, tomorrow, guys. I have a half day tomorrow, so. The moon. Oh, the sun has Stonehenge behind, Stonehenge behind him. Great. Someday I will get there. Judgment. The world. Now I have to say, in looking at this card, once again, I have to figure this out for my own deck, the deck that Peter and I are doing. Judgment is a hard card for me because it always seems to me like it is the Revelations book of the Bible where the um, angel is calling everyone up to, you know, face their maker. The judgment of the last days and all that stuff. So I tend to disregard it. when, I, Like if it comes up, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I need to find a way to resign myself to what I want that to mean for me. And it's hard not to attach that when most judgment cards look like, you know, the last days kind of stuff. So I have to, I have to really think about that. Let me know if you think of judgment any differently. If you found a way to not get around it. But, you know, I want to be able to look at it. and Like I have the Hierophant. To me, I'm like, that's a spiritual leader, a spiritual advisor. And so I'm I'm totally fine with that. My spiritual advisor does not have to be popish or anything. So even if it looks like that, I'm like, oh yeah, I insert my shaman person. I can't do that with judgment. It's been a lot harder. So the wands, the two of wands is always my favorite. Creates that doorway that you're ready to step through and begin a creative energy fire process. The Three of Wands is always a great one because now that doorway is behind you and you have stepped through. Here you go. Looking out on those boats and sending all that energy off. Four of Wands. See, oh, I'm terrible. I love tarot too much to skip cards. There's the celebration underneath the arbor. Five of Wands. That great competition. The victory. All right. I'll stop unless I... Oh. That's a great eight of wands, too. I was going to say, unless I see a really good one. But how great are these cards? They're really... There's the burdensome ten. Nice. Nice, nice. Really nice. Queen of wands has familiar with her. I love that. All right. There's a couple of the wands for you. What are we on? 13. Oh, I'm doing good for once. Ace of Cups, so then it goes into a different color, that blue color. The Two of Cups, that's a nice modern, traditional. There's a celebration, woohoo, kind of party. That's a pretty good five there, yeah. Aw, look at the six. Look on on your childhood self. Play more. Yeah, that's a great seven. Good, yep, yeah, nine. There's the ten. Nice, nice, nice again. A lot of diversity there because you can't see. Oh, look, the page has the fish. Nice. Why did I take my glasses off? They must be bugging me. <laughs> Queen of Cups. So doesn't that look like she's having a cuppa watching Simon's channel Saturday morning? <laughs> so 
then the Ace of Swords comes in in this yellow bright great. There's the two, you can see the blindfold is on. Not crossed though, so he's already uncrossed and he's open. There's a good three. Nice. And the resting of the four on the couch this time instead of laying down, you know, on a bed. Oh. There's good travel motion. You can almost see him sneaking away. That's a good one. These are really, really great cards. The eight. Nice. The hateful thoughts and nightmares of the nine. And then the ten. Ooh. Oh. Oh. All right. I really like this ten. The fact that he has all these swords sticking out of his back. And he's in this strong stance that to me is just about to break loose. Break loose and say, nope, I'm not gonna take it anymore. This is the bottom and I am bursting out. It's getting better from here. Love that 10, love it. Queen of Swords, so all about the logic. The ace is greens and blues, kind of both. Cute too. So one is, uh, you know, one of the pentacles is above, but he's on the unicycle, so he's really juggling it. Cute. The four, they're all mine. The despair of the five. Really love that. There you go. Giving. Cultivating. Honing your craft. The luxury things. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to do this. There's the 10. Family's great. Really, really enjoying. And here's the queen. Yeah, I had this queen isn't isn't my favorite. I don't know. It doesn't say that much to me about who she is. A little bit. <laughs> and the king looks like he's like whatever. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. Don't know about the court cards. Hopefully, you uh, if you haven't seen this deck, that'll give you an idea if you want it or not. I'm really liking it, and I think I'm gonna have to smudge them and. Get them ready to go because I think I may have to start working with them soon. And hopefully I'll be uploading more videos very soon, either tonight or tomorrow. Blessings, guys.